hello everyone this is the third question we have in the contest and i'm able to solve this problem so the question is saying that you are given a directed a cyclic graph of n nodes which is numbered from 0 to n minus 1 right and this is a represented as a 2d array is a length m where each is we have given it means two it is connected uh, give me one second it is connected how the ages we have given u will connected with the v means the node u is connected with the node v and it has a cost this and it indicates one way communication from node u to node v with a recovery cost of cost i it is saying so some of the nodes may be offline so you are given a boolean array online where online at i is equal to true means node at i is online and and node 0 and n minus 1 are always online right so if you remember this is the similar questions that we have done in the last contest problem right that i have already uh, taught you uh, how to implement it if you remember so it will be easy for you to understand but this is the contest time so what i'll do i'll uh, go through thoroughly so you can understand you can write the code okay so the question is saying that uh, also a path from 0 to n minus 1 if it is valid and all the intermediate nodes on the path are online so the total recovery cost of all the edges on the path does not exceed k and for each valid path define its score as a minimum edge cost along the path and we have to return the minimum path score and that is called largest largest minimum edge cost among all the valid paths so if no valid path exists here we will return minus one so for example we have given these edges we have given we have k we have given and we are getting this output so if you scroll down a little bit so what you will see this is the graph we have given and it is saying that uh, the graph has two possible routes from 0 to uh, 0 node to 0 3 as you can see and the path we call 0 1 th 0 1 3 right means this 0 1 and 3 right another path is 0 2 3 0 2 and 3 right and this is we have given so this is your valid one and this is your invalid one because it is exceeding right exceeding the a k it is not exceeding the k and so it is it is uh what do you call valid what we need to do we'll find the minimum cost along with this path and three and four which one is the minimum right it is three is the minimum so we'll return three as an answer okay so there is no other valid path so hence the among all the valid path the score is three i hope you understand what the question is saying and what we need to do okay so the question is uh saying what we have given I mean the very first we have given is a uh tag we have given right what is that tag is a directed acyclic graph and it has a uh, n nodes right what how many nodes we have n nodes we have it is from 0 to n minus 1 means we can say 0 to n minus 1 can we say that so this is the graph we have given a cyclic graph we have we can say that that is called tag directed acyclic graph and a list of directed is we have given means there is a direction which is given given and it has a cost recovery cost we have right and so we also have given a list of online we can say so let's suppose we'll call online right and this is the list of online we can say right so as you can see these are the ss we have given and these are the online we have given and these are the k we have given so this online is a list of online uh, nodes we can say so some nodes are offline also so you can only visit online intermediate nodes right and you must go from uh, you can say uh, node 0 to uh, node what you call n minus 1 can we say that means from node 1 to n minus 1 we have to go you must go from node 0 to node what you call uh, n minus 1 that is why we are when we are seeing the uh, graph let me go there so as you can see we have given this uh, node from 0 and we have go to here n minus 1 right node means we have to uh, go from here to here because these are the online right now it is also th saying that we have a uh, valid path conditions what are the valid path condition means there there is a path like this and this right we can reach from here or here right we can say because the direction we have given right each uh, in both direction we can say so each node contains its uh what do you call the cost you can say 5 10 4 and 3 are the cost right so a path from 0 to n minus 1 if it is 0 this is your n minus 1 can we say that 
it is valid so either this will be valid or this will be valid that will decide only if all the intermediate nodes are online means these nodes one should be intermediate and to one and two should be online and we can say in this case all are online as you can see here so it's online so uh, what we need to do also we have to find the age cost of uh, we have to find the cost so if you do 10 plus 5 we have seen it is it should be less than equal to k k is nothing but 10 can we say that it is not equal to so it is not valid so we'll say this is not valid but this is valid because 4 plus 3 we'll say is less than equal to k that is 10 right so it will be valid so this is a valid right okay and the path must be a directed s so these are in the directed s so what is our goal our goal is to find uh sorry if uh, among the all the valid paths right among the all valid path we have to find the one where the smallest is cost in the path we have so what is the smallest cost between this and this so we can say three is the smallest one and so that is why we are returning three here right means oh, there can be many many path will let's suppose another path will be there right like this and some index is will be there but there will be some uh, smallest is it will be there right and that is a cost we have to return as an answer right so the smallest is cost that is called a path score and we have to return that means we want to return the maximum path score right uh, but uh, we have to return the path cost that having uh, what you call so actually we actually you want to return the maximum path score and that is possible right but if no path is there we will return minus one just we can say minus one so let me show you here right you just go through so it is saying return the maximum path score that is the largest age cost among all the valid path if no valid path we have here we'll return it right means if you see here right if you observe this uh, this example right what is what is, what is saying path is this one and this one right these two paths we have given right and after that we, we have to take the minimum one what is the minimum three and four right means if there are no other valid uh, valid part means we have to find the maximum among all the valid score what is the maximum among all the valid scores so we will say there is only one so we will take only this one okay let's understand the code now so what we need to do very first you will uh, we have given what uh, find max path score we have given where we have given the online we have given s we have given and k we have given right here from here we will find the all the valid uh, what, are, what are the valid paths we have right and then internally we'll do the dfs right so that we cannot uh, uh, reuse the same node again right so this is the purpose of writing the code so to traverse this you know how to write the dfs code we'll visit you and this will call uh, we'll go through all the nodes and if it is visited we'll just will mark it if it is not visited then we'll visit the again the next node will go to go right and which is already visited we'll leave it for now then we have uh, to check the valid path we will go through like this you know how to find the uh, valid one right means we'll go all the u and v right we'll get the cost if it is the cost is coming uh, get, uh, what do you call if greater than equal to mean is means we will add that one and we'll say oh this is our uh, uh, valid one uh, we'll add all the all the cost right and then we will uh, traverse through the topological sort we will use and we'll uh, keep adding all the topical topical topological sort values uh, or you can say nodes in here and we'll return in the reverse order okay so what i'll do i'll create another video where i'll show you all the details okay so only 10 minutes is left so what i'll do we go go here okay so i'll uh, just i'll show you how to write the code right so first, first of all you write n equal to online dot length right and you will create the graph dot uh, you will create the graph uh, list of graph right you can say uh, inside the graph then you will iterate for all the uh, nodes and you will initialize the graph then you create the uh, update the graph nodes right uh, you will add all the its neighbor nodes you can say all the edges then uh, internally we'll do what, what you call we'll as a binary uh, we'll find low and high and we'll find our answer right so we'll check if it is valid right we'll find the minimum one right and we'll update our answer each time okay and finally we'll return the answer 
okay so internally we'll call the valid valid method where we'll uh, check the uh, what do you call the path if this path is valid or not right if this this uh, this is path is valid or not and this is the valid method it will say true or false okay and similarly we have our dfs function okay so that's all we have in this video i'll put this code into the uh, comment box so you can get it from here we still have five minutes you can get it from there thank you guys thank you for watching this video